In the upcoming movie, Batman and Harley Quinn, there are two main villains that they are fighting, Poison Ivy, who most of us already know, and a lesser known villain called the Phronic Man, who has also been known as Floro, the Plant Master, and the Cedar. Now, in my trailer to the film, a lot of people are asking who he is and mistaking him for Swamp Thing, which is an easy mistake to make, considering how similar they look and their powers are. But I thought I'd make this video to briefly explain who he is before the film comes out in August. A simple explanation would be that the Pharaonic Man is an evil version of Swamp Thing, and it's actually quite an accurate explanation. He has pretty much the same powers as Swamp Thing in controlling plant life, though he is generally not as powerful. That being said, he has in the past served as the Guardian of the Green, replacing Swamp Thing, though Swamp Thing did eventually get the title back from him. The Pharaonic Man's real name is Dr. Jonathan Woodrow, and he is a genius at botany. He has several different origins, including him being an alien from another world and being from another dimension, but the most likely version for the film is the one where he acquired his powers by injecting himself with a serum that turned him into a human-plant hybrid. This allows him to mentally control and manipulate plant life and plant growth, and to merge his body with plant life. In some versions of his character, he did actually turn Pamela Isley into Poison Ivy, such as in the film Batman and Robin. It's a pretty terrible film to be honest, and he's only in it briefly, but we see Dr. Woodrow as a human and as Pamela Isley's boss, who tries to kill her and accidentally gives her her powers. In more recent comics, when he was human, he was a university professor who taught botany to Philip Sylvian, Alec and Linda Holland, and Pamela Isley. Alec Holland, of course, later became Swamp Thing. The Pharaonic Man's main motivation in the past has been to eradicate all animal life, as he sees it as a threat to plant life. And it looks as though he is trying to do this in the film by turning animals into plants as is shown in this scene. Look how beautiful you are! It works. It works! This is no ordinary leafy mouse, but a harbinger of the new age! And to be honest, that's pretty much all you need to know. His body is made out of plant matter, he is part human but mainly a plant, which is why he can get shot and not be harmed, as he just regrows that part of his body. He has mental control of plants, much like poison ivy and swamp thing, which is sometimes referred to as chlorokinesis. He is a genius botanist and he is pretty insane, having been admitted to Arkham Asylum a few times in the past. As I said, he is a lesser known villain, so there's actually not that much written about him, but that should give you enough of a background on him to understand who he is in the film and his motivation. And if there's anything else you think that's important and that I've missed out, please let us know in the comments, along with whether you think he's going to be a good villain in the movie Batman and Harley Quinn. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those of you who made this video possible by donating to Needlemouse Productions' page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds to adapt comic book stories into animated short films. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.